Good afternoon, friends, and thank you for joining us for Mass on this feast or solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Um, I shall use the Liberal Catholic Rite shorter form um, as usual, really, when I, I do um, a Mass on Facebook, um, as it's mercifully short. Um, but um, covers the bases. So let us pray. And uh, we have Don Bruno joining us today as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Confiteor O Lord, thou hast created us to be immortal, and made us to be an image of thine own eternity. Yet often we forget the glory of our heritage, and wander from the path which leads to righteousness. But thou, O Lord, hast made us for thyself, and our hearts are ever restless till they find their rest in thee. Look with the eyes of thy love upon our manifold imperfections, and pardon all our shortcomings, that we may be filled with the brightness of the everlasting light, and become the unspoiled mirror of thy power, and the image of thy goodness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve and sanctify you. The Lord in his loving kindness look down upon you. The Lord absolve you from all your sins and grant you the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thou be blessed by him in whose name thou shalt be burnt. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. I will magnify thee, O Lord, for thou hast set me up, and not made my foes to triumph over me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be opened, 
all desires known and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who through the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin didst prepare an habitation meet for thy Son, we beseech thee that, like as thou, foreseeing the merits of the death of the same thy Son, didst thereby preserve her from all defilement. So by her intercession thou wouldst suffer us to attain in purity of heart to thee, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Teach us, O Lord, to see thy life in all men and in all the peoples of thine earth, and so guide the nations into an understanding of thy laws, that peace and goodwill may reign upon earth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The lesson from the Book of Wisdom. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no found fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depths. When he established the clouds above. When he strengthened the fountains of the deep. When he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandment when he appointed the foundations of the earth. Then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habit habitable part of the earth. And my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain the favour of the Lord. Blessed art thou, O Virgin Mary of the Lord, the Most High God, above all women upon the earth. Thou art the glory of Jerusalem, thou art the joy of Israel, thou art the honour of our people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. All fair art thou, O Mary, and original sin is not in thee. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. At that time the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and the angel came in unto her and said Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. The act of faith. We believe that God is love and power and truth and light, that perfect justice rules the world, 
that all his sons shall one day reach his feet, however far they stray. We hold the fatherhood of God, the brotherhood of man. We know that we do serve him best when best we serve our brother man. So shall his blessing rest on us and peace forevermore. Amen. Amen. We adore thee, O God, who art the source of all life and goodness, and with true and thankful hearts we offer unto thee this token of thine own life-giving gifts bestowed upon us, thou who art the giver of all. According to immemorial custom, we now mix water with this wine, Praying thee, O Lord, that we may evermore abide in Christ and he in us. <laughs> we offer unto thee, O Lord, this chalice with joy and gladness. May the worship which we offer ascend before thy divine majesty as a sacrifice, pure and acceptable in thy sight, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I shall be blessed by him in whose name thou shalt be blessed. As this incense rises before thee, O Lord, so let our prayer be set forth in thy sight. Let thy holy angels encompass thy people and breathe forth upon them the spirit of thy blessing. May the Lord enkindle within us the fire of his love and the flame of everlasting charity. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of thy hands and sanctify our lives in his service. Accept, O Lord, this saving victim, which we offer unto thee on the feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that, like as we do confess her, and through thy preventing grace to be free from all defilement, so by her intercession we may be delivered from all our iniquities. And through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father Almighty, everlasting God. But today we chiefly praise thee for the help and example of the Holy Lady Mary, Star of the Sea and Mother of our Lord, Queen of the Angels, our pattern of humility and purity, Therefore, with angels and archangels, with thrones, dominations, princedoms, virtues, powers, with cherubim and seraphim, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Wherefore, O most loving Father, we thy servants do pray thee through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, to receive, to purify, and to hallow this oblation which we make unto thee, we desire to offer this holy sacrifice, especially for thy holy Catholic Church. For Harold, our King, and for all those who are put in authority under him. For me, thine unworthy servant, for Bishop Bruno and all our bishops, clergy and faithful. Especially remembering <laughs> Brother John Therese Marie, who was clothed today as a Carmelite novice in our church in Singapore. For all bishops, clergy and faithful, and for those here present in spirit, and for all who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness or any other adversity, especially any known to us who may be ill at this time, Likewise do we offer it for all those thy children whom it hath pleased thee to deliver from the burden of the flesh, especially for Elisan's brother, Eddie, that freed from earthly toil and care, they may enjoy the felicity of thy presence, evermore praising thee in word and deed, O God everlasting, living and true. Wherefore, O Holy Lord, Father Almighty, we pray thee to look down on and accept these offerings, which we thy servants and thy whole household do make unto thee, in obedience to the command of thy most blessed Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Which offerings do thou, O Father, deign with thy Holy Spirit and Word to bless, approve, and ratify that they may become for us his most precious body and blood, who the day before he suffered took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and with his eyes lifted up to heaven unto thee, God his almighty Father. Giving thanks to thee, he blessed, brake, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat ye all of this, for this is my body. In like manner, after he had supped, taking also this noble chalice into his holy and venerable hands, Again, giving thanks to thee, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of this, for this is my blood. 
As oft as ye shall do these things, ye shall do them in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we, thy humble servants, bearing in mind the ineffable sacrifice of thy Son, do offer unto thee this, the most precious gift which thou hast bestowed upon us, in token of our love and of the perfect devotion and sacrifice of our minds and hearts to thee. And we pray that thou wouldst command thy holy angel to bear our oblation to thine altar on high, there to be offered by him who as the eternal high priest forever offers himself as the eternal sacrifice. And we do pray for thy servants who minister at this altar, that meekly celebrating the mysteries of the most holy body, and blood of thy Son, they may be filled with thy mighty power and blessing. Likewise, we pray thee to sanctify thy people here present in spirit with these thy heavenly gifts, and through these mysteries do thou hallow, quicken, and bless them, that both in their hearts and in their lives they may show forth thy praise and glorify thy holy name. All these things do we ask, O Father, in the name and through the mediation of thy most blessed Son, for we acknowledge and confess with our hearts and lips that by him were all things made, yea, all things both in heaven and earth, with him as the indwelling life do all things exist, and in him as the transcendent glory, all things live and move and have their being. To whom with the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be ascribed all honour and glory throughout the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Instructed by, in the words of sacred scripture and following the tradition of Holy Church from of old, we now say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Here do we give unto thee, O Lord, most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in the Holy Lady Mary, our Heavenly Mother. And in all thy glorious saints from the beginning of the world, who have been the choice vessels of thy grace and a shining light unto many generations. And we join with them in worship before thy great white throne, whence flow all love and light and blessing through all the worlds which thou hast made. O Son of God, who showest thyself this day upon a thousand daughters, and yet art one and indivisible. In token of thy great sacrifice, we break this thy body praying that by this action ordained from of old, thy strength, thy peace, and thy blessing, which thou dost give us in this holy sacrament, may be spread abroad upon thy world, 
and as thou, O Lord Christ, was made known to thy disciples in the breaking of bread, so may thy many children know themselves to be one in thee, even as thou art one with the Father. Amen. O thou who in this adorable sacrament has left us a living memorial and pledge of thy marvellous love for mankind, and does therein graciously draw us into wondrous and mystic communion with thee, grant us so to receive the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that our souls may be lifted into the immensity of thy love, and that being filled with a high endeavour, we may ever be mindful of thine indwelling presence and breathe forth the fragrance of a holy life. Amen. Amen. Oh, body of Christ, give me eternal life. Amen. May the body and blood of Christ keep you in eternal life. Amen. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O Mary, for he that is mighty hath done great things to thee. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord our God, that this sacrament which we have received may heal in us the wounds of that sin from which by a singular grace thou didst preserve the immaculate conception of blessed Mary through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Ita missa est 
Deo gratias. The peace of God which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his cross and passion be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance remain with us always, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us on this Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Hope to see you all again sometime. We wish you a blessed feast day and a blessed Advent season. Bye for now.